Hello everybody, welcome to today's maths meeting and we start with saying I love maths and what do you say? We love maths and our number today is the number 20. Now you haven't got 20 fingers so we have to do 10 and 10. Two lots makes 20. And we have one Numicon piece of 10, but that's not enough. We need two, two Numicon pieces of 10. So 10 and 10 make 20. And the two stands for two tens and the zero, no Numicon piece for zero. So two there is 10 and 10. And the zero is zero, nothing. Here we have another number line. And this number line goes from zero to 30. So we've been having number lines that went from zero to 20. So we've got a longer number line today. <coughs> and it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And 30 would be 10 and 10 and 10. Can you find 20 on the number line? So have a good look and see. Remember, it's a two and a zero, two, zero. Can you find it? There it is, two, zero. And we've got to count on one. So we've got to count, oh, count on, let's see how many. Oh, count on three. So we've got to count on three, 21, 22, 23. Let's see. We're right, 23. And take that one away. Count on 5 and 20. So we start at 20 and we go 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Are we right? Yes, 25. There we go. Now we've got to count back, that means less, so we've got to go the other way on the number line and we're going to count back three. So we start at 20, 20, 19, 18, 17. Let's see if we're right. Yes, 17. Counted back three. Now we've got to count back five. So we start at 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Let's see if we have right. Yes, 15. We counted back five from 20 to 15. Which circle has been cut into four equal pieces? Let's see. There's one circle, nice big orange one, looks a bit like the sun. And a blue one, looks like the blue balloon. And we've got our scissors and we're going to cut down there. And then we're going to cut across there. And then we're going to cut the blue one. Ooh, the same, down the middle. And then we're going to cut another strip. So which one have we cut into four pieces all the same. Well, the blue one we've only cut into three pieces, whereas the orange one we've cut into four pieces, and each piece would be the same. So the orange one is correct. And here we have a sphere. It's a very tricky word to say, so let's practice sphere. It's a sphere, and a sphere is 
like a ball. A sphere has no edges or vertices. A sphere has no edges or vertices. It has no corners, no edges and no lines. It is symmetrical. That means it's the same all the way round. It has one surface. That means all the way round. And there's its surface all the way round. And here we've got some pictures of things you might see. There's a beach ball, a sphere, uh, all the world, our earth, and that big continent that you see straight in front of you, that's Africa. Africa. We're above Africa. There's Africa. It's a big continent. And a bubble. A bubble is a sphere. And some marbles. Who likes to play with marbles? I like all the different colours. I used to have lots when I was little. And a football. And an orange. And a tennis ball. And what's that? That is a giant metal sphere. And it's in a park. And it's rather, it's a bit like a statue, but it's not a statue, it's a sculpture. So it's a piece of art that someone has made. It's a giant sphere. Must have been very tricky to make. What did you see? I think I saw five and five. And that makes, let's see, ten. Let's see. Oh, five and five. Right, let's see again. What did you see that time? I saw... Ooh, five and five, but different. A different pattern of five and five. So four going down and one across. Four going down, one across. So four and one is five. Four and one is five. And five and five makes... And here's our 10 frame and another 10 frame. So we've got two 10 frames. And we're going to fill it up. So you're going to count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixty, seventy, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We have filled both 10 frames up. Two 10 frames, when they're filled, 10 and 10 makes 20. There's one 10 and another 10. Ooh, which one has turned yellow? Which one? Which one do you think? I think it's number 20. Now we've got some things that are heavier and lighter, heavier and lighter. Let's see. We've got one ball of wool, two balls of wool, three balls of wool. So three balls of wool and a big sheep because wool comes from a sheep. I think this one's quite easy. Which do you think is heavier? Which do you think is heavier? If you had to lift them up, which one would be harder to lift up? Three balls of wool or one big woolly sheep? I think it might be the sheep. I think he'd be really difficult to lift up. So the sheep is heavier and the wool is lighter. There's a kite and a brick. Now a kite has to be very light to go up in the air but I don't think a brick would go up in the air. Do you think you could fly a brick? So I think the kite would be lighter. 
and the brick would be heavier. So the brick is heavier than the kite. The kite is lighter than the brick. Now, odd one out. We like these. Let's see what you think today. We've got a picture of a blue balloon, an aeroplane, an empty bottle, or is it empty? It might not have any water in it, but it might have air in it. A kite, a bubble, oh, and a bubble. So, which one do you think doesn't belong? It could be, which ones go up in the air? A balloon can go up in the air. An aeroplane can go up in the air. A bubble goes up in the air. And a kite goes up in the air. So maybe it's the bottle. The bottle, because that doesn't go in the air. But maybe... The bottle's got air in it, and the bubble's got air in it, and the aeroplane's got air in it, and the balloon. The kite doesn't have air in it, so maybe, maybe it's the kite. Or maybe, maybe it's the aeroplane. And I'll leave you to think about that one. Goodbye everybody, and I'll see you all soon.